Much. Unfortunately, this heat is not going anywhere. So Erica Ferrando followed along with probably who is the most popular person in America right now, an air conditioning tech, to find out what you could do to keep your house cooler. Erica, what did you have to say? <laughs> That's right, Sharice. They have been getting a lot of calls. And right now we are on a roof, and I promise you we are feeling that heat. But even though we are on the roof, this heat that we feel can actually seep into your home. So I spoke with that air conditioning tech about why that's probably preventing your home from getting as cool as you want it to be. As much as you try and try and try to lower your air conditioner, it may just not budge. That's no surprise for Corey Gonzalez with Cisco's Heating and Air, who says, unfortunately, your AC is just not designed to tackle this scorching heat. Well, if your heat index is 110, like it was on Saturday or 115 on Saturday, and you're 80 degrees in your house, your, your AC's working. It's doing everything it can. He's been getting nonstop yeah, service I mean, calls. This is, this is all just from this morning. So he offered these tips. First, change your filter monthly. For window units, wash off your filter monthly. Once these things get dirt on them to a certain point, you start to restrict that airflow. Put blinds over windows. This thermometer shows us that right now the center of this room is 72 degrees, but if you walk over to this window, you will see that number quickly rise to about 80 degrees. So imagine all of that heat from outside beaming into this room. You can feel the heat coming through this window. Notice there's no curtains, no curtains, no blackout blinds. Use a garden hose to wash off your outdoor AC unit. Make sure to turn it off first. Just this little bit of dirt can cause this system to run a higher head pressure. Gonzalez recommends yearly professional maintenance so they can use a foaming chemical to clean from the inside. A lot of these people are getting these 300, 400, 500 dollar energy bills. A lot of us got to do with not maintaining your equipment. And as much as you don't want to hear it, leave that thermostat set to 78. Because as Gonzalez explains, it's probably not going to get any cooler than that. When your AC runs, eight, nine hours a day because you're trying to get it below 75, 76. You're actually just starting to dump humidity back into your home and then it starts getting muggy, starts getting sticky. And one of the simplest tips, try using your ceiling and floor fans to cool off your rooms. And if you're having trouble sleeping in this heat, try replacing your sheets with cotton or linen sheets. Those are known for being more breathable and moisture wicking, so that could keep you a little cooler at night. For now, reporting live from New Orleans, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. I have to think about that 78 advice, but I hear you. Erica, thank you so much.